All right, welcome back, everyone, to episode 11 of John and Eric's Adventures in Skyrim. Here by the forge, and it is raining. It's around 6 p.m. in the game. And we are going to be working, uh, just to start off the stream, we're going to be working all with smithing. We, if you remember, we have a bunch of potions that we need to sell. I still... Yep. Um, I managed to sell a few more while we were offline, uh, which, which was good, right? But we still have like 20 of them to sell. We're at 20,000 gold. And then once we've completed that, we're most likely going to head to over to Silent Moon's camp. Take that out, right? Kill the bandit leader there. Um, and then end our stream by heading down into Falk Reef to potentially clear out this cave. Probably not that, but we're going to be helping the citizens of Falk Reef become main of that. Thing. That is going to be our goal for this episode. So, just to start out, um, what I'm going to be doing, and I'll, I'll just showcase it really quick. I'm not going to show it on stream. This is kind of but I'm going to be taking all of these iron, so 96 iron ingots. We have a couple of steel. Um, I collected a bunch of firewood while I was offline. And we're going to be going in here. And, oh, hold on. I grabbed it. Kit. Smith's kit. There we go. And I'm going to be crafting uh, various steel equipment, so... Usually what I go for is Curious's, the, the plate bodies. One of the things that I've recently discovered is something called wolf armor. So the wolf set here, it's pretty nice. It's it's basically plate armor, but it's not as good. Well, it, it requires bear uh, or uh, cave bear pelts, which we don't really have any of those, so we can't make it. But these, the wolf shield and the wolf helmet, only require five steel ingots and two leather strips, so I might make a couple of this too. I'm not too sure. Um, our limiting factor you can see here is leather strips and leather. Let me see how many pieces of leather we have. Yeah, like like 46. So we have way... Actually, in this case, we're probably going to have a lot more leather than we do the uh, metal to make it. So we'll probably craft a bunch of plate bodies and then break them down, recycle the metal to the point where we have no more leather or leather shoes. Now We also have a bunch of pelts here that I'm going to quickly break down. Uh, oh, we also have the plates too. So basically that's what I'm going to do is craft a bunch of stuff, break them back down, and uh, continue that cycle and we're going to see level three. You know, before I do that though, I think I will because I'm worried I'm going to gain a total level. We're going to go up to level 16. I would like to spend some of our hard-earned gold here to advance some of our combat skills. What I'm thinking of doing is throwing that into probably heavy armor. Um, just because it's kind of the most difficult thing to level on its own. But let's see. We, I mean, we could do it I into something like actually, archery, you, but I... it's it's almost so cheap that it's kind of a waste. Which right, which is which is all you know, which is funny that you'd think we'd want to do Summer. the opposite. Your says that I have the strength. I'll show you what I can about protecting So yourself. this would burn through. So we uh, actually we'll, we'll just start by doing this, right? We'll go right up to level fifty. It's pretty good. Until. <clears throat> And uh, do we keep the non-leveled XP? Where's our heavy armor? We do. So we keep the unused XP there, which is good. This will really quickly allow us to invest in the We're going to do that right now. Uh, 40 more stamina, 20 carry weight. But what I'm really interested in is the reduced weight penalties. My hope is that we'll be able to cast healing auras while still wearing our heavy armor because the weight penalties are reduced. I don't know if that's going to work. Either way, a more stamina is always helpful, right? Next time. So, let's take a look, right, while still wearing all of our stuff. Uh, it looks like it wasn't impacted whatsoever. Okay, that's fine. 
um, I hope like so. 25 magicka in order to begin uh, the casting these healing orders with all of our armor on. Be tough. Some people don't think I'm smart. All right. I'll well, show you what I can about we'll do the rest of them. Myself. So we just use around 9,000 gold. Push a level higher there. I'd say that was worth it. What, but you doing? what we're going to do is we're going to transition over to after when I've crafted all of the things down at the forge. I'll show you all the stuff that we've created and all the levels that we've to you. Yeah. So welcome back, everyone. Let me show you what we have created. I have to be very careful here because, first of all, you can see that we're level 16. Here we did get a total level, but we have to be very careful that we don't go up to show my skills to do a level up that will it will basically we'll, we'll lose the ability to to use trainers for that i'll show my inventory here so we were crafting most basically just the uh the plate bodies we ended up using pretty much all of the steel to uh to convert those i'm quickly gonna break them down again just so you can get a view of what some of the action looked like here, right so just pretty much what it was. Just a whole bunch of this. And then we're going to deposit these. Well, first I'm going to smelt them. Come on, Eric. I'm going to smelt these down. Smelt them back into bars, just so I'm not used later. And then we're going to go get some training and do a level up. Hopefully we'll have enough gold to at least throw a few levels into, uh... Yeah... We'll get most of that level, so. We used up all of our fur plates, which was wonderful. Uh, we didn't have enough charcoal to convert all of our iron, though. But we did manage to use up basically all of our leather here and our leather shirts, and that was the main goal, to process all of it. And we went all the way from... I can't remember what we were, something like level 24. I don't even remember what the level was, it was so low. We're now around 48 for uh, smithing, which is fantastic. And we can move now, yay! We're done. We're done being in the rain. And we're going to go try to get a few levels in heavy armor, but no promises, right? We'll get as many as we can, and then we'll level up. Um, Score says that I hey, heavy I'll armor. show you what I can about protecting yourself. Uh, okay. Well, we managed to do that. Hopefully, this doesn't put us past the the next level threshold. Okay, it didn't. Oh my God, we're so close to level 18. But so our heavy armor is now 59, and our smithing is now 48. Wow. How's that? Woo! Look at that. All right, we're not camping in the rain. So we're gonna run down, we're gonna sleep in a bed, and then what are we gonna do to wake up? Um, I think what we'll do is we'll head over to Silent Moon's camp. We're gonna take that on. So once uh, we're, we'll sleep, I'll stock up on everything we need, and then I'll head there, take all the buffs, and start combat, so. Alright, welcome back everyone. So we're here, outside Silent Moon's camp. We're gonna take it on, we took all of our buffs up, you can see right next to me here. We have all of our stews, we have our, um, engraved bones. We have our healing auras. He has uh, potions to use this time. I say we just go for it. Frontal assault. Outright. Let's do it up. <sighs> you don't, I don't have time for this. All right, that was a good warm-up. Good warm-up. All right, who we got? Who we got? All 
with a little damage there. There's one person right here. Down. Where's Eric? You seen? All right, looks like we're all set. I'm gonna quickly perform some rites here. Oh, okay. That was pretty good. I, you can't perform Arcade's rights while sneaking. Okay, fair enough. I guess they want to make sure that you're not in combat, right? 120%? Yeah, I haven't prayed in a while, so... That 127%? It gives you 7% just by praying? That might be a little OP. We'll, uh, we'll do all the looting later. Well, we'll try and check some of them, just because some of these guys I'm going to end up forgetting, right? We'll take the skins, but otherwise, I don't need all that much more. Why don't we start here? You never know, we might end up finding something helpful we can use in combat. Did we... No, we're just really close to level 18. There's someone there. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Oh! Finish this! You're on your lead. All right. Keep up while you still can. Nice swing action there. Although I think we're gonna have to get through the uh, the door that's back down in there. Might be a little bit of a problem. Anything good? Yeah, a little bit. Silver arrows. Those orcish dagger. Yeah, well, fine. We'll we'll take it. Right. We need the gold. We do need gold. I always need more lockpicks. I'm not above looting bandits, right? I'm really not. We're gonna use a healing poultice while we're down here. So here, no. We need wood, but I don't want to have to carry it right now. Might be some other bandits down here. So this is the door I was talking about. Um, adept. Oh, we can we can break through that. It'll be a little bit tough, but we can do it. We have 45 lockpicks. I mean, let's see. Take a little. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, we got ah. The oh, hello. They even uh, pretty organized them for us. Oh, ooh, lunar mace, weight to value ratio of ten. Eric, you're like on top of me, bruh. Can you break these down for corundum? I think you can. Be worth it. So I'm gonna grab them when I see them. Could use the shards. Fat, nice. This will go up that in a moment. We have to backtrack to get that other chest I forgot about, I guess you could call it out there. Oh, a little bit more. Is that it? Nice. Hey, that should be our total level. Yep. Very nice. And we should be able to, yeah, we, we got our uh, our training back in White Run, so. Yeah, yeah. I almost uh, stepped right over this one. Oh no. Yep. 
I'm looting these and they're filled with like 28 gold and it's like... Ah, uh, okay. Fine, Th thank you. All right, now we can open that. And get this, so many of these chests, man. Guess I'm not completely burning through all of the lock picks, right? Uh, yeah. Let's do a, a quick check. Can I can I break these down for fragments, right? Or should I just end up selling them for miscellaneous gold, right? They're worth not a lot. I'm gonna break them down. Give us a hundred of them, so that's five ingots. I'll take it, right? It's not bad. The uh, the last thing I'm gonna do though is run back inside to the first room. I think there was a couple of them, and then we'll finally go take on the uh, the boss, right? The moment we've all been waiting for. No, I thought. And there's like one. Okay, so I saw one. I don't. I don't care. Okay. Ah, I think I just. Hold a muscle in my chest. All of a sudden, I'm feeling like a, a pain on my side here. And at first, it was like a tightness, but now I can feel it's like, nope. Hot Ligma chat. Ligma's gonna take me out. All right. Oh, okay. Ah! As I think that's Ron the Crow, right? So... Whoa! Eric just used all of his potions. I think we're gonna use the other one. Cause why not, right? Uh, uh we'll use We'll use an instant damage one, right? Wow. Okay, we'll level up, but I'm uh, yeah, okay, I'm not dead. I was like, are we dead? Thanks, Eric. I was like, wow. So that was Bouncer's effect, right? Bouncer, it'll send you flying. Not bad. Not bad at all. Ooh. All right, so we didn't use any of his shock arrows. That's pretty good. Here's Bouncer. Um, doesn't really say what it does, which is too bad. Uh, won't take any of his gear yet, per se, but... No, I guess I guess we can take his armor, right? We'll take his... He doesn't have a cloak. It's too bad. This... This steel helmet is better than my current helmet. What am I wearing for a helmet? Steel horned helmet. So the one he has here is actually better. Oh, it is way better. Interesting. All right, we'll take it. Very interesting. Doesn't look that fancy though, but the armor rating's better, so hard to argue with that. It just feels right somehow. Hey, Eric. What do you need? Stuff for you. Decide if any of it's actually working. Nope. He's happy with his uh, other steel helmet here. Let's get going, man. I liked the horned helmet, but you know. He prefers otherwise. What else? Zombie. Uh, 
there was at least one other person here. We'll, we'll take some of the first stuff, though. We love, we love fur armor. It's great. Oh, what's that? The armor forging. Nice. That's a pretty good level. We don't need more iron ingots. Oh, the chest. Hold on. Notes on the lunar forge. These are not really super valuable. <laughs> I mean, I can disenchant them, but... All right, what we got? What we got? So, that, yeah, yeah, some potions. Silver diamond ring, not bad. Staff of flame atronach. That's pretty good. Right, we can use that. I'm not afraid to use that in combat, right? Some, like, the, the storm atronach, that's super powerful. But flame atronach is, is weak enough that I'm willing to just kind of use it, like, more readily. Yeah, we're at full health, too. Excellent. We have enough time to go and uh, let's let's see if it's clear. It's clear. Yes. yes, it is. Excellent. We'll head back. We'll turn in the bounty. Mm, there's there's actually a few other people that we didn't loot from down here. I know. Just other miscellaneous stuff here. What's, um, survival vision? The right alt. Yeah, there it is. Any others? No, we already looted that one. So this one. Gem, take that. And that. Okay. And we're just under carry weight. That's pretty good. Here, we're gonna take a few of these because because we can, right? So, all right, come with me. I'm dragging this over so we can pick up all three of them, and I'm gonna hand them to Eric, and we're gonna skin them later. It's always good to let, get a little bit of XP, but also we could use the uh, the alchemy ingredients. These can be used to create stamina potion, like really good stamina potion. At first, I thought I'd missed. What do you need? Eric, I need you to hold the mud crabs. If they come back to life, just kind of hit them with a big rock or something. Figure Is something there out. Anything else you need? Ooh, silver! Eric, give me the pickaxe. This new armor fits me. What do you need? Also, you got. Uh, well, here, hold on. Give me the pickaxe. You got a little. Uh... Yeah, you're you're fine. No, don't worry about it, Eric. You look great. You look great. Trust me. Oh. Eric's stealing my silver. Got an opal. Oh, there's two of them. Wait, I think there's more. There's like a few of them here. They are there. Probably enough for a silver bar. Oh, okay. Maybe it is, instead of like whacking them, it's a lot better to mine like that. Because if you remember, we harvested a bunch of iron out of the uh, uh, Ember Shard mine. And the return for gems was just abysmal. It was really bad. All right, so what we'll do is we will continue on um, up to Cloud Districts, turn in the quests. So, All right, welcome back. So we we made it up here. Uh, we sold a few of our potions, dropped off some goods. Right, we're up to seven thousand gold now, which is pretty good. Also, somebody redeemed our silly hat. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. Oh, thank you. Um, bandit leader, Silent Moon's dead. Money. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here's Having a your gold? reward. Uh, Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Do you have any other? Good to see you. No, do we, do we kill everyone? If there's any more I can help you with, just let me know. 
think that's it. I think we killed everyone, right? While we're here, I think it's time that we pick up the Gilder Gleam quest. I think that's gonna be our next thing. Well, one of the next things. And we should be able to pick that up. Um, you. Yes. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, I heard something happen to the, the tree of uh, yes. the tree here. It's a bit of an eyesore at the moment. More of a problem for the pilgrims than for me. But not many of them around anymore. Um. Why haven't been? Why haven't the, the pilgrims? The tree isn't very inspiring if you're coming to worship the divine of wind and rains. Kinareth gives life, and we need a living tree to be her symbol. Is there any way to revive I've the tree? about that. Trees like this never really die; they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the elder gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal method. Um, well, what would work? Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The Hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Uh, yeah, I'll get it. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. It shouldn't be too hard, right? It's really hard. So what we'll do is we are not actually going to continue. Oops. Uh, you should try the venison. Eh. Cancel. Here we go. What we're going to do, I was trying to bring up the map, is Orphan Rock is down here. And then clearing out that other grotto is down here. So first we are going to head down probably the, the safer route down Half Moon Mill and stop into Falkreath and become one of the Thanes of Falkreath. That's going to be our goal. And that's how we're going to end the stream today is uh, doing that. And then on the next episode, we're going to be looking into Greywater Grotto. I have no idea what's there, so we might be tackling that. And then continuing on our way up to Orphan. So we're going to transition very quickly down into Falkreath. And then we're going to see what quests we have to assist the citizens of Falkreath. That is the mission. See you there. All right, so we are here in Falkreath. We managed to get both horses here. It's kind of a nightmare. One of the first things we're going to do is we're going to sell some of our fury poisons to the alchemist that's here just because we we need to get rid of these stupid things exchange them for gold so that's kind of item number one. Oh my goodness we, we can just harvest these for free okay down for that right three samples what was the other thing that I was looking at? yeah the dragon's tongue like free samples right Whoa. Anything else? Juniper? Yeah. Okay. No, it was all marked as free to take, so. Cool. Um about these. Yeah, the rest in, in the shop here. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them? Take a here, look. Here, I got some poisons that I think you might be interested in. She has 1,500 gold, not really that much, but get rid of some of them. Oh. All right. Um, now, I did a little bit of research. <laughs> Go chilling in the middle of the dirt road. Oh, that's the rural life, right? So, to save us a little bit of time here, I brought up a list of people who need things done for them. I, I figure Until next time. a good way of thinking about it is that like we, Eric, you just helping yourself to all of her stuff. Okay, fair enough. We did the same thing. So 
There are five different ways that you can assist the people of Hall. And, like, otherwise I would lose my mind just running in circles trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, there's... We, we have... Um, Dengrier of Stun, I think. Hurt. Matthews, Runil, and then Thaggir. So we're, we're going to see if we can find any of those people. Who you? Here's Laud. Laud doesn't have a quest. Um, I think most of the quest givers will be in the tavern. You're not a quest giver. Who's that over there? Let's see. Hecla isn't a quest giver. Eric needs to be housebroken. I think this guy is one. Maybe here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. You actually do that? Like, if we get firewood, does that count as helping? Can we just kind of? We scavenge this, and if we sell this, does this count as uh, helping someone? Honest gold or honest work. Hey, it does nice. Be safe. Here, here's a piece of wood. All right, all right, we're off to a good start. Um. Oh wait. Yeah, Dengir. Dengir was one of the uh, the people we can help. It's just he's. Apparently not there. Who are you? A sad time. Um. Oh, may I harvest your crops? Of course. All right. Let's do it. Help him harvest his potato, his taters, his and his squashes. We didn't even have to harvest any. It just kind of marked. Ah, oh, fuck. Hands off. No! No! Eric! No! 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 Eric! Oh my god, when's our last load? Okay, we're... Come on, we're reloading out of that. Right? That's just a bug out of the system. We're, we're not saving that. Where Eric just goes berserk because we accidentally steal some gourds. Eric decided to uh, defend my honor for accidentally stealing some gourds, despite having permission to harvest them. That was like two or three bugs interacting together to to cause problems. So I don't always I don't always reload, but when I do, here for work. Honest gold. it's from things like Honest that. Stay safe. We'll try our best. Ah. Ah. Um, a sad time. May I harvest your crops? Of course. So, what else can we do? Like, only some of his crops we can harvest. Which is really weird. We'll do like three cabbage. Um. A row of these. And I think that's gonna be it, because... Uh, sometimes you can't even... Yeah, all, all of these can't really be harvested, so... A sad time. Yes, and I couldn't tell you why. My wife and I think... Oh, why is it so gloomy? That's why I asked. Or perhaps... RK's influence is strong here, and he likes to keep it this way. Um, take a look. Here, I guess this is you know honest gold for honest work, right? Where's a? Uh, oh my god, we harvested twenty-five potatoes. Jesus. Here we go, right? See you around. Now, the last person, I think, is going to be somebody located within the inn. Um, oh, did you need something? Oops, hold on. Yeah, what do you do I'm around here? Trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Might be someone in here. Uh, the, the page 
triggered an ad and now I have to scroll back down. Uh, um, unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, traveler. Uh, you said something about a burial? Falkreath is known for its graveyard, traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my own war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. <laughs> Could you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arcade? He'll know the right blessings to make for Barrett's soul. Very well. I'd be honored. Thank you. Until next time. Hey Kai, what's up? Yep, we're in Falkreath. We are about to complete a delivery quest. That will give us all three out of three steps for assisting the citizens of Falkreath to become Thane of this hole. Now we're blitzing through the cemetery here. This will be over that. Whoa! What happened? Goost is responsible for the cemetery. Are we still recording? I take care of the shrine. No, no, the game is crashing. <laughs> oh, I'm locked out of the game. We walked through and the game is crashing. Can you all still hear me? Okay, we're back. We had a little bit of a crash or like a, a massive entire computer crash, but now we can finally return the ash. Goost is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. Oh, uh, please heal my wounds. Start with that one, right? Um, I have a delivery. Ah, Barrett's ashes. He was a good man. Not many warriors grow to a fine old age. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. Oh, yeah, 50 gold. That journal means a lot to me, if you find it. Oh yeah, his uh, his journal that's freaking in a in a uh, cave that has necromancers in it now. So there's two options, right? The first is that he left his journal in a cave that like years ago, and then it was taken over by necromancers, or he is secretly conspiring with necromancers to send adventurers there for them to find warriors to turn into thrones. So I'll I'll leave those two options with you, right? You'll have to decide which one's which. Yeah, right? Now, now you don't know. Here, we can mushroom. Um, and we don't know. If I remember correctly, though, when you return to him, he's genuinely grateful about getting his journal back. So I've always assumed that it was uh, a thistle. That he wasn't in cahoots with them. But imagine if, if he was surprised, like, you, you actually got it? Like, it'd be interesting, right? Be an interesting spin. My Jarl, Good to see you. I have helped your people. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Falkreath. Congratulations. Yeah. I grant you a personal house, Carl, and this weapon from my army oh, to serve crap. as your Oh crap, we get a office. follower! I, I completely forgot about that. Your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble now. And we got the Blade of Falkreath. Until later then. Let's take a look at it, right? Are you the Jarl? The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Um, so what does a house Carl do? As my thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Pretty cool. Until next time. Uh, I like your sword. She's two swords? Dang, Rhea. All right. Where's Eric? He should be here celebrating with us. 
And let's take a look at this blade, right? The blade of Falkreath. Oh, how does this compare with ours? It's it's not quite as good, but it's still pretty good. So 25 shock. It's a uh, 200. <laughs> My horn is blocking the number. 209 damage. Um, so 225 versus 261. That's really close. We uh, I don't know. We're well. Maybe no, no, no. Hold on. The Blade of Falkreath, maybe we can get this uh, buffed, right? Maybe we can get it honed and sharpened, and then it might even be better Skyforge weapon. Uh, would I sell it? Nah, this is more of a trophy item that we'll keep. But I'm going to say that's going to be it for this episode. So we managed to take on Silent Moon's camp, and we have officially become Thane of Falkreath. That is excellent. Next time, we're going to be taking on, what is it, Raven Rock, I believe? We're going to be doing the uh, Gilbert Queen Rocks. See you all at night. Uh...